Welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Uh, more details are coming in surrounding the uh, pro wrestler's death uh, from AAA, that a match that involved Rey Mysterio. Um, I've been following all the latest news, rumors, speculation, debates, debacles, um, developments as it concerns the late performer. And the Associated Press is reporting that the autopsy on Mexican wrestling legend has been completed. According to the autopsy report, the AAA performer died almost instantly, which was evident by the video, after the accident that took place in the ring. And it was just that. It was a freak accident. It was an unfortunate set of circumstances. It was a horrible thing. Uh, the deputy prosecutor uh, has confirmed the fact that Agayo Jr. had three fractured vertebrae and was dead by the time he reached the hospital. And I'm assuming that he was probably already dead once that occurred. And you know what? Just the way that when Rey Mysterio drop kicked him. And once again, I'm not blaming Rey Mysterio, okay? Because you know what? You sign up to be a wrestler. You know the risk that is involved. You know injury. You're not going in there to kill the other guy. But you're going in there to put on a show. You're uh, you're going in there to uh, perform entertainment. Uh, either on the mic or in the ring. And this was just a very sad and tragic thing. And it's almost like he was dead as soon as he got set up for the 619. Even though he was dead, he was still in the, in the same position that any normal wrestler would be in for the 619. And that's what makes this thing so weird and so peculiar and so odd that he hit that drop kick and it was almost as if you know he was set up for it and then nothing happened and he was just limp. And then after that, nothing happened. And the fact that Rey Mysterio is reportedly uh, receiving death threats over this, even though his own family, the AAA performance family said, this is not Rey Mysterio's fault. Do not blame this on Rey Mysterio. I mean, it's already bad enough for him. So, these are the new details coming in. Uh, I apologize once again. My condolences go out to him, his family, his friends, Rey Mysterio, the competitors that were in that match. And it was just an unfortunate accident. It's something that should have not happened, but it did happen. And it's, you know, it's rare. It's rare for a wrestler to die right there in the ring. But these are one of those rare occurrences. And, and sadly, it had to happen to a performer that was so prolific in the ring and uh, such a consistent performer. And I went back and I've watched some matches, and this guy was good in the ring. And uh, he had, a, you know, there was rumors of him having a huge program with Alberto Del Rio. Uh, he was going to be a big deal. They were going to set him up in a major uh, angle. And obviously, all those plans uh, are off the table, obviously, due to his untimely uh, passing. So uh, that's the latest updates. Um... You know, what What more else can you say? I mean, it's it's not something you want to talk about. It's not even something you like to think about. It's not something you anticipate to happen in, in the ring, especially during a match that features, you know, one of the greatest of all time in Rey Mysterio, who was definitely uh, a future Hall of Famer. But not to make this about Rey Mysterio. Um, just bad timing. Um, maybe the wrong judgment. Uh, wrong place, wrong time. You know, what are you going to do? It's, it was an accident. That's what it all, all boils down to. It was an unfortunate tragedy. Your comments, your opinions, and maybe you can submit your comments uh, down below. Even WWE uh, sent their condolences on Twitter and other social media outlets. So the WWE did pay tribute to him later.